I started rowing in college at Princeton. I was a walk-on to the team. I remember walking into the gym for a freshman sign-in. I think we were signing the honor code. Little did I know that there were several coaches, crew coaches in the corners, scouting out seemingly tall, athletic people. I had a coach walk right up to me and say, you're gonna row. It wasn't, do you wanna row? <laughs> it was, you're gonna row. I fell in love with the sport of being on the water. Uh, that was just magical. And also having a group to walk up to dinners with, an instant community, especially at a school where I kind of felt like a little fish in a big pond. Um, not to say that everything was easy and rosy. Um, I thought the erg was terrifying. And yeah, it took a lot of time for things to click, but I did love the water from the beginning and I loved being part of the team. And I'm so glad that was part of my college experience. When I'm on the water, I love, I guess people talk about the swing or the flow of everyone in the boat together. Uh, it's really hard to explain, but it's just this feeling that you get that everyone has your back or you have the person's back in front of you that you're all working towards the same thing. I think that's unique with rowing. I played different sports in high school, lacrosse, cross country skiing, some of them teams, some of them not. But this was entirely different. I also love the perfection, um, the blend of perfection with power and just going after it. That was really unique. In 2013, uh, South Korea for World Championships. That was my first season. I was fresh out of college. I was to stroke the boat. Um, I was excited, terrified, all of that. And I injured my back three days prior to our first race in the heats. That was my first real experience with an acute injury. Um, it was an injury that took me out and it was devastating. Um, I realized then just how much being part of the boat meant to me and what it meant to be on the sidelines and watch your team compete. So, of course, I, I wish that didn't happen, but in retrospect, I think I learned a lot. Um, certainly the rehab process was trying and I've had a few more injuries down the road but I hope it's made me stronger. <laughs> and you know, I, I do look back um, and I just, I remember so wanting to be part of that boat and I try to hold on to that when things are going well or when things aren't, just realizing that's the end goal. In 2014, I was incredibly lucky to be Back in the boat, uh, back in the same position with many of the same teammates, boatmates, and that was a dream come true. Um, I loved the race. I think that you know things are going well when you're in the race stroke for stroke and you start having fun. Um, so all the anxiety, the worry, the pain, this hurts, you know, are we ahead, are we not? That just fades and you're just in it and you start to grin. And I remember that happening probably 500 meters into the Amsterdam race um, and finishing and just feeling really satisfied.